Spokesman, man, we back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as Kendrick Lamar has made it very clear that he is committed to standing on the business and stepping on everything, as he calls himself, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, and being all the way dedicated to disrespecting Drake and not taking his foot off the gas as he dropped They Not Like Us today. As you see right here, Rick Ross most definitely is getting involved. He is most definitely on the team Kendrick side as he's a part of this as well because of his issues with Drake. But either way, he most definitely using it as a point to troll even more. He out in Vegas right now. Let you see how the streets is reacting to the record. And if you're listening to that specific part right there, he went at Drake saying you went to Atlanta and you moved like a colonizer and everything like that trying to get accepted, future helping you get in the club, thug bring you to the lingo and making you feel that you slime, 21 Savage giving you street credit, uh, Quavo taking you to the north side, and then 2 Chains really not rocking with you. I don't know what's what about these relationships or the allegations that Rick Ross is making right there, but this track right here is one of those ones that Kendrick Lamar, in my mind, is letting everybody know because he keep talking about the industry. And when he say industry, of course, people behind the scenes, but he's spoken on academics name and things like that as well. He paying attention. That just lets me know. He watching what people are saying on the blogs and on the internet. That's his third track in less than 48 hours. So he like, oh, y'all saying I don't drop enough. I'm going to keep dropping now. Y'all say I don't rap like this. I don't rap like that. I'm going to give y'all every style. And this is going to be one of the ones for his region right here. This beat is done by Mustard. And even him going to the point of calling out Drake for smashing one of uh, Wayne's ex-girls, uh, Tammy Torres, and why he was locked up and things like that. In the book, there's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls. Oh, oh girl. when he yes. up. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was just, you know, that's just how life go when you locked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she's done. You moved on. Life is good. Life is good. Will you rap about that? Do you think it'll end up on a, a song? Maybe you two might, you know. No, no. No. She still be texting me and stuff, you know. They stop texting me too. For real. Because it still hurt. Does it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but now I remember though. Yeah, he wrapped. I don't know who he wrapped. Hey, when you in jail though, even yo, yo, side, 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 is your main. <laughs> when you in jail, I, I can talk to you yeah, all day. Yeah, when you in jail, it, it could be somebody. When you was when you was out of jail, you ain't never text her back. You ain't call her when she called you. You couldn't tell what you could the hell was. That's how much you ain't see it. But when you in jail, whew, if she don't answer that phone when you call, Lord have mercy. Then him talking about getting Wayne's tattoo afterward. He's most definitely calculated, per participating, and dedicated all the way to I'm finna go with Drake and I'm gonna make it get to a point where I'm gonna try to brand him and his team in the eyes of a lot of people is something else right now. That's the art of war. Kendrick Lamar is obviously prepared for it. Now, Drake, he did punch back. He popped his stuff. He turned up. We ain't going to downplay what he did on Family Matters. He, family Matters, he got in there, got active, got the punch in his well. But Kendrick Lamar is saying, hey, nigga, you going to either bow down, fold, and be quiet, or we going to keep this going. I got all day and I got all night. 
He said we got a mole over there in your camp. It did seem he got some information from somebody to be able to get the products that he put on the cover art for meet uh meet the grams and things like that. It's turning all the way up, man. And this is gonna be one of them bops. They're gonna be playing out there in Cali. Summertime record, the beat. I, I can hear it right now. You can see the impact of it. People gonna be bobbing their head to it. They not like us. They not like us. It got a real live ring to it. Plus the things he's saying on the song is catchy. So there you have it, man. Drake, get back in there, get active. Either way, we here. They both rap. It, it's one of these things now. I'm like, is this even rap anymore? It's still rap. Don't get me wrong, but it's like. Man, it ain't just about the music now. It's like we got to see how it perform in real time. And that right there, them at the pool party bopping it and hearing it, that right there makes me think I'm going to hear that even more. And it kind of give a little bit of that effect of that back-to-back -back where you might hear that in the clubs. You also might hear Drake Family Matters as well. So, hey, we here, active, new music, 2024. Let's go. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pitch. Two right now, what Kendrick just released is if you was a real outcast fan, nigga, if you was a real outcast fan and you ever wanted to know what 3,000 would be like if he ever was in a battle, nigga, this is the closest you will ever get to Andre 3,000, nigga, ever happening to do a nigga dirty. This Kendrick. Damn, white boy. Kendrick done bust you in the head before y'all even finish the publisher splits. I'm at the pool party. BBL Drizzy, I'm at the pool party. And they just called you a pool.